Hello and welcome back to Hydrozet Info. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a phone setup on any Ethel phone. Let's begin. So, after you probably open the phone or get it out of the box, or after you perform a successful hardware set, you should be greeted with this screen. And this is the first part of the setup, and it's as you can see for choosing your default language. Uh, I want to locate the English one. Uh, as you can see, it is ordered alphabetically, so all we have to do is search for E, and here we have our English. Unfortunately, there is no British English option here, so yeah, pretty sad. Anyway, here we want to click Next, and then uh, we want to hit Next. Okay, and then we can insert our SIM card. Uh, I won't, I'm going to skip this step, though if you are not sure how to do that, we do have a tutorial on that, so don't you worry. So I'm going to press skip for now, and now we probably want to add uh, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click view all, and let me choose, well, for example, this one. Now I'm going to quickly input the password, so uh, you won't see it. Okay, and now you want to press connect. And after you are successfully uh, connected to Wi-Fi, you will see the little connected text um, right below the Wi-Fi network name. Then we want to press next. And now we have to agree to user agreement and services. Of course, we can read those if you want to, but no one ever reads those. So I will simply hit I have read and agreed that uh, to the above terms. And then hit next. Uh, here we can join user experience improvement program. Uh, I'm going to disagree because I value my data, you know. Uh, but of course you can press agree if you want to. And now Google takes over uh, because we are connected to a Wi-Fi. If we wouldn't choose, uh, if we wouldn't choose to connect to a Wi-Fi and if you would just skip it, then this screen uh, wouldn't show up. So now we have to wait for a moment. Uh, while we wait, I can talk about anything. Uh, oh, damn, I cannot talk, that's sad. Anyway, after a while, we'll see the option to copy apps and data. If you do have a Google Backup, or if you ever made one, then this is the part when you want to press Next. Uh, I don't have anything. Like, I don't have any backup, I don't have any other phone uh, to transfer my data to. Uh, so I'm going to click Don't Copy. Though if you want, to, uh, if you want the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually use the Google, uh, the backup uh, by Google, I believe we also have a tutorial on that. So, you know, don't you worry. So I'm going to click Don't Copy. Uh, but once again, if you do have any backup uh, or anything, like you want to uh, basically move to your new phone, then you want to click co Copy and you'll be taken to a different menu. And now we can sign in into our Google account. Uh, we could skip this, though I believe that it's pretty stupid thing to do, uh, as having a Google, Google account, I believe it's almost necessary these days. So I will simply input our email here. So here, and now number, well, let's say two. Fun fact, you don't have to manually type in uh, gmail.com, etc. Uh, you only have to type in uh, the first part of it, and the rest will automatically uh, input itself. Now I'm going to input our password. Uh, but once again, no picking. Okay, and now we want to simply hit next. And after a while, uh, we'll be taking to this screen. Uh, if we press my child will use this device, uh, will be using this device, uh, then it will be taken to family link configuration, if I remember correctly. 
Uh, now, for me personally, Family Link is a big piece of doo-doo. Uh, I am not a big fan of Family Link. However, if you are, if you want to give this phone uh, to your child, to basically anyone that is not responsible uh, with phone, then you should be, you should click. My child will be using this device. Uh, but because I'm a grown-up man, I'm going to choose. I will be using this device. So now we want to hit ne hit uh, next. We want to hit I agree. As we cannot disagree, we have to play by Google's rules, you know. And now, after a while, after the Google gets uh, its precious account info, we can agree to Google services. Uh, we can just scroll down and hit accept, or we can manually disable all those little check marks here. So let's say we don't want to send usage and diagnostic data, we don't want to automatically scan other nearby, nearby devices, and we don't want to use our location. Of course, it's just a preference, uh, if you want to uh, keep uh, keep those on you can just do that uh, I'm just I'm not big fan of it and I don't need to for them to ra run uh, in the background anyway so I will hit accept now we can turn on automatic backup I'm going to disable it since it also wastes pretty big amounts of memory and I will hit that backup but if you're going to use the phone just like you would any other uh, phone I would advise you to turn on the backup as you just you know backupping is the thing that you never do manually always something else does it for you so having Google automatically backup your phone is pretty handy in my opinion here we have the ability to uh, turn on the Google Assistant uh, I am not a big fan of it as it can well for me uh, unlock uh, activate itself in random moments, so I'm going to skip it, but obviously you can just press uh, add Now we can add a few different things uh, Which is pretty interesting. I don't think I ever saw this screen But yeah, we can add another email. We can change how text displays so we can uh, manually change uh, the size of the screen So we can increase the size if you want to But I'm going to leave it as this the default and they can also change the wallpaper. I'm not sure why it's the part of like phone setup configuration, uh, but I'm going to skip it because you can just easily do that, you know, using uh, after you configure your phone. And I believe if we go into here and leave it, yeah, the little check mark also appears. That's funny. Anyway, we can skip those, hit next. And now, once again, the phone is getting itself ready. Uh, I don't think it will actually take minutes. Yeah, and now it's gone. And here we can log in into Ital ID. Uh, I'm going to skip it. I don't think I have uh, the Ital ID accounts. And the process of you know registering is just too long, and it's pretty self-explanatory. But as you can see, you can easily log in later in the settings menu. Here we can also add set screen lock. Uh, so our phone isn't just free to use uh, for anyone that randomly picks it uh, Again, we can just easily set it up later in the settings and we do have a tutorial on that So I'm going to press skip now. I'm going to press skip once again and I'm going to choose gestures as gestures are pretty cool if you ask me and now I've, I believe yeah now we are finally done with the phone setup. All we have to do is press this little arrow. And after it loads, we are taken to our home screen and we can freely... Okay, we are not. We can just remind our router or whatever. Now we are taken to our home screen and we can use our phone however we want. And that's all for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.